one constant across these disruptions has been a perennial debate about the proper role of government in regulating the financial sector. Waves of financial regulation have often been followed by concerted efforts at deregulation, premised on the belief that regulation is ineffective and stifles financial innovation and economic growth. I've lived through efforts like these, such as the massive pushback against the Dodd-Frank Act's enactment and implementation. And my response has always been that a stable and resilient financial system is not only compatible with responsible innovation and sustainable growth, in fact, it's a prerequisite for those goals. Our prosperity depends on the work to safeguard financial stability before a crisis occurs. Just as the implementation of a strong fire code can prevent a fire from breaking out. That work mattered in 2020, when a worldwide pandemic driven dash for cash put extraordinary strain on the financial system. A decade of focused work to improve financial stability, coupled with forceful public sector in interventions, helped us avoid the worst possible economic outcomes. This work also mattered earlier this month when we encountered two bank failures with a stronger financial system and hard-earned lessons from the global financial crisis. We have made much progress in the past 15 years, but recent events show that clearly our work is not done. During the COVID pandemic and again this month, the proverbial fire department had to be called in the form of interventions by the Fed, FDIC and Treasury. These events remind us of the urgent need to complete unfinished business, to finalize post-crisis reforms, consider whether deregulation may have gone too far and repair the cracks in the regulatory perimeter that the recent shocks have revealed. And we must also address new areas of risk.